Toyota is way behind when it comes to making electric vehicles. Yesterday, when I published a report on Toyota's president, Akio Toyoda's harsh views and two points that he made about electric vehicles, I received some very interesting comments from you guys. And I'm going to share some of the comments here uh, so you know uh, why uh, some of you called his comments, uh, Akio Toyoda's comments on electric vehicles, as feeble and lame excuse. But I'm also going to provide uh, Toyota's and some engineers views in this report about Toyota's stance when it comes to electric vehicles. Welcome back dear friends. This is Armin Haryan from torquenews.com. If you are here for the first time, please subscribe to our channel for daily electric vehicle news and ring the notification bell so you don't miss my next tesla story yesterday toyota's uh, president akio toyoda made two harsh comments about electric vehicles uh, but they were also reasonable saying that uh, the reason toyota is behind um, in making electric cars first one is that uh, there aren't good enough electric vehicle batteries and the second comment was that second point was that the grid uh, is not ready if the entire world turned to electric vehicles we wouldn't have enough um, electricity to cover that now uh, if you haven't seen that uh, please look at my report of yesterday so you can see those points and but you uh, provided some interesting comments which i'm going to present here dick mcmanus um, who uh, often presents um, and provides uh, electric vehicle stories for torquenews.com has a very interesting comment saying uh, these are lame feeble excuses japanese automakers have been dragging their feet in fully entering the electric vehicle market it is actually embarrassing considering their strong engineering capabilities look at volkswagen gm hyundai and of course tesla they are all committing to an electric vehicle future without resorting to weak excuses about why it can't be done conveniently and profitably this highlights the difference between tesla and toyota and it is probably the reason why they are no longer partners. If you know, Tesla designed the RAV4 electric vehicles drivetrain. Dean says, Toyota says building an aff affordable electric vehicle can't be done. And Tesla just goes ahead and innovates, creating new technologies to make it happen. From chassis design, to new batteries, to cleaner battery production, to better, more efficient mining and refining technologies, the average new car price in the United States was $38,723 as of September 2020. This matches the Tesla Model 3 standard range plus $38,000 price, and that goes 263 miles on a single charge. It sits five people and gets to 60 miles uh, per hour in 5.3 seconds. That's the Model 3. In contrast, the cheapest Lexus IS300 has a 2.0 liter turbo four cylinder and starts at $39,000 plus dollars. As, for, as far as carbon-free electricity goes, a study released in July showed that for California, 36% of retail electricity sales were from renewable sources like solar and wind. And nearly two-thirds of California's electricity came from carbon-free sources in 2019. California leads the nation in electric vehicle sales, but they are still under 2% of total new car sales and use a fraction of overall electricity production. We do need to expand clean electricity production, but waiting to sell electric vehicles while you plan to build better electricity generation is a recipe for failure, says Dean McManus in Torque News. Um, another user uh, named Cosmo Paya says, obviously he, meaning Toyota's president, didn't watch Tesla's battery day and didn't account for cost reduction due to scaling up the sales. Elon said something like this, for every doubling in quantity of car sales, the cost goes down minus 20%. Model 2 
should come in 2023 model 2 is expected to be tesla's uh, compact car under twenty five thousand dollars or so so model 2 is uh, expected to come in 2023 from tesla giga berlin with 4680 battery cells one year before the id one from volkswagen another compact electric vehicle coming from volkswagen the main competition in my opinion says that user we don't have a energy production problem we have a problem storing the renewable energies the solution elon's mega packs the negative view on electric vehicles always don't account for future progress and i think it's a big mistake he says so as you see tesla volkswagen and uh, gm are showing that there are ways to tackle these problems i'm sure they are smart people as well and uh, they are uh, have they're finding ways to go ahead with electric uh, vehicle production with new batteries coming in fact toyota itself has announced uh, actually we have learned from media that toyota is working on solid state uh, solid state battery and uh, which is apparently coming next year in 2021 so if things go in the right direction maybe do rhetoric in toyota regarding electric vehicles will change in 2021 so really but um w w uh, toyota is in f in forefront of technology um is not further but it's not further ahead when it comes to electric cars so why doesn't toyota still make electric cars this question was asked in to rpm uh, automotive website in uh, uh, canada and uh, the question uh, and they did some research and uh, I took interest in this question and uh, rpm's reporter says by taking by talking to a group of engineers and designers at toyota we were able to obtain the following information the reporter says from the outset toyota maintains that the main issue of electric vehicles is the production of batteries what does not seem to be a big issue for a manufacturer like tesla which produces several hundred thousand electric vehicles annually. That's apparently is an issue for Toyota, whose capacity is not as high. The manufacturer, therefore, prefers to produce with the same amount of materials as is used to build a single electric vehicle battery, 10, 15, 20, or even 25 hybrid or plug-in hybrid vehicle batteries this distribution of resources allows you to obtain more vehicles for the same amount of ore so i think this is a very important point here test toyota apparently is trying to be effective let me repeat that again toyota therefore prefers to produce with the same amount of materials as is used to build a single electric vehicle battery 10 15 20 or even 25 hybrid or plug-in hybrid vehicle batteries this distribution of resources allows you to obtain more vehicles for the same amount of ore so there is some smartness and wisdom here on the side of toyota as well at least this is how they uh, they think uh, rpm's reporter continues saying a definite advantage would drive from this strategy the manufacturer insists on the fact that the reduction in pollution provided by several hybrid or plug-in hybrid vehicles is more significant than the impact of a single electric vehicle built with the same resources this is another important point so according to toyota it would be more environmentally responsible to produce a lot of hybrid vehicles than a few electric vehicles that being said it is not because no electric vehicle using a battery is currently offered on the market but toyota that on the market by toyota that the manufacturer is ignoring on this subject the fact that several hybrid vehicles have been sold by toyota for more than 20 years has enabled it to collect useful data for the eventual design of an electric vehicle so toyota's uh, production of hybrid vehicles in the past 20 years has enabled it to collect an important data for the eventual design of an electric vehicle which i think will come in the next year or two as you know uh, toyota solid state battery is expected to be announced next year with a um, power to charge uh, about 80 percent in 10 minutes or so when will we see the first toyota electric vehicle 
make no mistake if there is money to be made with electric vehicles toyota will soon or later join in moreover the manufacturer is actively working on the development of new technologies such as the solid electrolyte battery which i just mentioned which should prove to be less expensive to produce and more energy efficient than the current lithium ion battery in fact Toyota has said it will launch its own on the market in 2025. More specifically, the manufacturer has committed to launching six new electric vehicles by 2025. It is therefore only a matter of time before being able to drive in a Toyota brand battery electric vehicles. So friends, I think Toyota has important points here, but the points from the now, our uh, electric vehicle enthusiasts and experts like Dean McManus are also important. Um, what do you think? What is your take on this? I think Toyota eventually very soon will uh, uh, turn into electric vehicle production with a decisive move. Right now, they are just uh, waiting to see uh, and using that data that they have collected and they are trying to be efficient with uh, hybrid batteries, uh, making hybrid and plug-in batteries with the same amount of resources which take... Uh, only making one single electric vehicle battery but i would like to hear your points on this as well this is armin harian from torchnews.com please subscribe to our channel for daily tesla and electric vehicle news and ring the notification bell so you don't miss my next um, ev uh, coverage have a wonderful rest of the day god bless you and peace be with all of you